Hi, my name is Alex Puto and welcome to Package Main. I always wanted to find a good use case for Google Home to make some DevOps tasks funny. For example, voice deployments, system metrics, etc. And since I use Kubernetes a lot, I thought it would be nice to control it via voice commands. So I decided to develop this action with the following goals in mind. Action should work on any Kubernetes cluster. It doesn't matter if it's GCP or AWS. It should have nice voice UX. The command should be extensible and it should be easy to install. I already published this project on GitHub and I'll do a demo of it in this video. Let's first review how it works. This diagram shows the flow from the user to dialog flow to our API and to Kubernetes cluster. Let's review some of these components from this diagram. So dialog flow is a development suite to build conversational interfaces. There we will develop our intents and entities and it will call our API, which in my case is deployed to App Engine, which will connect to Kubernetes cluster to get some information from it or update some pods, etc. I assume that you already have a Kubernetes cluster running somewhere. For this video, I will use my demo Google Kubernetes Engine cluster. And first of all, we will need to generate a kubeconfig file in order to authenticate against the cluster. This repository already contains the script to generate a kubeconfig file. Just make sure that your kubectl points to the right config. So first of all, you have to clone this repository, which I already did, and then run generate kubeconfig.sh which will create certificates and put them into build folder. And here's the kubeconfig file, which our API will use. Now we can deploy our API somewhere. For this video, I will use Google App Engine, but you can deploy it somewhere else. I'll just show you the environment variables we have to set. So I'll copy from sample and file to end.yaml. Here we set our namespace, in my case it's default. We set API key to protect our API, we don't want to make it public, and the log level. So I don't want to change anything here, it's all good for demo. And now I can simply run gcloud app deploy. All right, our API has been deployed and here's the endpoint to access it. Now we can go and configure the dialog flow. I'll create a new agent. I'll give it a name Google Home Kubernetes. And I'll select some project. You can create a new one. Our project already contains all intents and entities dialog flow meets. So what we have to do is just to go to settings, export and import, and import them from zip. Select the file and type import. If we go to fulfillment, there is already a webhook saved with the API key as authorization header, so all looks good here. Now it's time to test it. We can go to integrations, we can Click on Google Assistant and yeah, Manage Assistant app. Let's give it a name. Kubernetes Manager. All good. And now there are two ways to test it. You can go to Test tab and test it from this simulator. Or if you have a Google Home device, you can do it with your device if it's connected with the same account. So let's try it with our Google Home device. Hey Google, talk to Kubernetes Manager. Sure, getting the test version of Kubernetes Manager. Welcome to Kubernetes Manager. How can I help you? Scale deployment, hello world. Got it. Currently, there is one replica of the hello world deployment. To how many replicas do you want to scale? Four. Deployment Hello World has been successfully updated. Anything else? No, thanks. Got it. See you later. 
Now, as you can see, there are four pods in this deployment. Currently, the list of commands is very limited, but you can contribute to GitHub project to add more, and I will add more in the future. Also, I don't suggest to publish this GitHub action unless you want to make a Kubernetes cluster public. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you later.